Hey guys, Christy Love here. So Triple was discussing public school and one of the things that's always, I remember first learning my sophomore year in high school um, that it is a board of members in Texas that determines uh, where our textbooks for the public schools come, they're the ones who decide what go in the textbooks. Uh, ever since the beginning of the 80s, actually, it was a conservative board ass couple, clearly, who wanted a more uh, God fearing influence on the uh, curriculum of the textbooks being that they feared all these kids in a secular school were going to be godless. So they went with a group of supporters. They unrolled a 54-foot scroll of all of their objections to what was taught in, in the secular schools. So, yeah, the, the Texas board, they approved the textbooks and the curriculum. They're the ones who set the rules. Like I said, there's 15 members who do not conform to the congressional district. Actually, they really don't conform to anything. Uh... In the past, many of the members have been bankers. I went into that in my research, but we don't need to go into that at the moment, being that none of them really are that I could find. I didn't dig too deep. Um, we're not bank are not bankers now. So how did this come about? More so. I mean, how is it that all these people said, okay, it's fine. They they can do it. They they can be the ones who determine uh what is in the textbooks and they can determine the curriculum for all those public school students. They dangled a carrot and especially the schools with low funding had no choice the the board of the state board of education said they would pay 100% to the schools that chose to go with this plan well at this rate it's 99% of the public schools go with this plan but I do not believe that they still continue to pay that uh, 100%. I, I, I didn't go into that. So I am going to list off the what I found on the Texas Education Agency site. Um, I'm going to post the links for all of this, citing all my sources. So we have Georgina Perez, and I'm not going to go into all of their cities and whatnot. She's kind of boring, probably the most outstanding on her description is that she is a Democrat. And funny thing is, there are five Democrats and ten Republicans on this board. <clears throat> So there is, in the 2nd District, Ruben Cortez Jr., he is a Brownsville businessman. That's about as exciting on his little profile. Didn't dig further into him. He is the secretary of the board. Marissa B. Perez Diaz is in District 3. Uh, 
they really need to get someone creative to write her profile. There really wasn't anything there. And I also will state that every single one of these people, their education was attained through the public school system, one. Two, they all attended college in Texas. Now, I have been raised in a two-college town. Carleton College and St. Olaf College. And if you look those up, the education rating, their, their rating for the U.S. is quite high. In comparison, certainly, to any of the Texas schools. That's something I'll look up, is the rating of the top Texas colleges. Oh, my point was, very few of the students... I've ever encountered and I had worked at one of the colleges. I think I met one kid from the South. They're all from the Midwest or the East Coast and a few, you know, along the West Coast, but very few from the South. And after having my daughter in public school in the South, it is no wonder why. And, you know, for those of you who are watching that live in the South, spend some time up north and you will see what I'm saying. You'll, you'll get it, I hope. So, where was I? So, Mr. Lawrence Allen Jr., he has two masters. They are not listed as to what those masters are or where he attended college. Uh, that was further dug up, and he attended, I think it was, uh, what is the one that's the, the Houston College? Not Austin, but Houston. Whatever. It doesn't even matter. So, Ken Mercer. Mercer is a big name in Texas. Uh, he is a former Texas House representative. He has a master's in business administration. And we have Donna Baharich. She is a chair member who's been a member for quite a while off and on from what I gathered. She has a bachelor's in science, financial management. Many of these, it's like about money. It is not about education. It is not about sciences, arts. She also has a master's, Master of Arts in Counseling. She's also a big-time campaign hag. Then we have David Bradley. Oh, Mr. Bradley. The best they could say about him was he's an Eagle Scout. This man has something to do with writing the curriculum of public school textbooks. Seriously. And then we have Barbara Cargill. She is in one of the richest communities in all of Texas, the Woodlands. And last name says it all right there, Cargill. She was appointed by Rick, Governor Rick Perry. She was a science teacher for 30 years, and she is very involved in her church, as are many of them listed here. Kevin Ellis. Chiropractor. That's it. Chiropractor. And went to some little rinky-dink school in, in Texas. Tom Maynard. He was an ag teacher for 13 years. Also very, very involved in his church. And uh, Patricia Hardy. She taught world history and geography for 13 years in Fort Worth. You know, it's the ones that actually taught school that I can appreciate. Geraldine Miller. 
Oh, she's the one that I already did. Yeah. Uh, Geraldine Miller. She's been a board member off and on for decades. I'm not sure how that works because I read the rules of how many years that they can be board members. So I'm thinking... Then there is Erica Beltran, first generation college grad. She taught bilingual elementary, uh, bilingual, it just says taught bilingual, whatever that means, elementary for three years. And that qualifies her to write textbooks. And... She went to school at the University of Texas, Austin. Got a master's there through LBJ School of Public Affairs. Then we have Sue Melton Malone. She taught te in, in, in Texas for 36 years. She's also... A worship leader at her church. She attended Baylor. Marty Rowley is the vice chair. He has been an attorney for 20 years, went to Texas Tech School of Law, and now is a pastor. These are the people who determine what goes in to your children's public school textbooks. What do you think about that? Please share your comments below. Like, share, subscribe if that is something you would like to do. Love you guys. I'm going to keep on passing it on.